This is going to be a short video about two pistols that were issued by the Rhodesian Army during the Rhodesian Bush War. On the left, the Browning High Power, and on the right, the Star BM. This is the Browning High Power. It came out in 1935 and was used by both sides in World War II because the Germans captured uh, some of the factories where this pistol was made. So you'd have uh, German officers carrying this as well as British officers. During the Cold War, this was the sidearm of most British Commonwealth militaries and many NATO armies as well. 9mm became the standard NATO pistol round, even though the United States continued to use the 45 pistol. One unusual feature of the Browning High Power is the fact that it has a magazine safety. So if I remove the magazine and pull the trigger, the hammer doesn't drop. If I insert the magazine, now the hammer will drop. I want to compare the magazines of the Browning High Power and the Star. So as you can see, the Browning High Power magazine is much thicker than the Star. So this is a double stack magazine that holds 13 rounds. And the Star is single stack and only holds 8 rounds. And this was also true of the full size Star. The Browning High Power is just as accurate and reliable as any pistol today. Uh, my only complaint is it's a little heavy because it's entirely made out of uh, steel. When Glock started making pistols in the 1980s, they ushered in a an era of lighter and lighter pistols. And as a light infantryman who had to carry everything uh, on his back, so to speak, uh, I appreciate lightness. I also appreciate it as a concealed weapons carrier. Anyone who's uh, carried a concealed weapon after eight or 12 hours, if you have a heavy pistol like this, it really starts rubbing you raw, pulling on your belt. It's much nicer to have a very lightweight uh, pistol like a Glock. This is a genuine Browning High Power that was made in Belgium. It's sort of a mate to the uh, FNFAL because uh, the FNFAL that was carried by most NATO armies were also made by Fabrique Nationale in Belgium, as was this pistol. This Star BM is made in Spain, and this particular pistol was carried by the Spanish Federal Police for many years before it was sold for surplus and ended up in my hands. It was a very inexpensive pistol. I believe it cost me less than $200. It's uh, very similar to the Browning High Power and the Colt 1911 in that it is a single action only pistol, meaning that it has to be cocked to be fired. So typically, the highest readiness state for this weapon would be cocked and locked, which is cocked with the safety engaged, and this is a safe way to carry it, and you can employ it just as quickly as a modern double action or striker fired pistol. The Star BM also has a magazine safety, which I find it quite odd that both of these pistols have magazine safeties because actually these are the only two pistols that have that feature that I'm aware of. The Star BM is the compact version of the Star and it lends itself well to concealed carry because it's uh, very thin and has a shorter barrel. However, it's also made out of uh, steel and is very heavy and gets annoying to carry after eight or 12 hours. What I plan to do now is to uh, fire five rounds of NATO ammunition, NATO 9mm an ammunition at each of the targets. And uh, this is the exact same round that's used by NATO today. It's full metal jacket and a little higher pressure than the equivalent civilian round. And the weight of the projectile is 124 grains. We'll fire these pistols at a distance of 25 meters, and the reason I chose 25 meters is the maximum effective range of a 9mm pistol is supposedly 50 meters. So 25 meters is a good halfway point, and it's the distance at which the U.S. Army conducts its alternate pistol qualification. First, the Browning High Power. Now the Star BM.
The Browning High Power was a real pleasure to shoot and gave me no problems at all. This was my group at 25 meters, all of which would have eventually been fatal to the target. I wish I could say the same thing about the Star BM. Initially, I found that the sights were shooting high and to the left, so I had to adjust my point of aim to that green piece of tape there, and I finally got a nice group. However, I had a malfunction in which one of the, rain, uh, one of the rounds failed to uh, chamber properly. Uh, like I said, that Star BM was carried by the Spanish Federal Police for 20 years, and uh, was probably rode hard and put up wet. Based on my two pistols, I'd say the Browning High Power is a viable option even today. The Star BM, not so much. So if I were transported back in time and I had to uh, carry one or the other in the Rhodesian Bush War, I'd definitely hope to get a Browning High Power. Anyway, thanks for watching the pistols of the Rhodesian Army. If you have any experience with either of these pistols, please comment below.